They're giving off the Oscar so white vibes again. Check out this headline, snub of black performances in 2023 Oscar nods has some declaring hashtag Oscars so white again. A number of critics and columnists were vocal in their critique of the nominations. I'm so glad that they were, especially the snubs of Danielle Deadweiler, who portrayed Mamie Till Mobley, the mother of Emmett Till and Viola Davis for The Woman King. Here's what music critic Britt Julius had to say, twice as hard, half as far. The hashtag Oscar so white, playing out like always for Danielle and Viola, shameful. Now, Angela Bassett was nominated for Best Supporting Actress in for her role in The Black Panther. And Brian Tree Henry was nominated for Supporting Actor for the film Causeway, making them the only two black acting nominees. Lord have mercy. But this is nothing new for the Academy, not nothing new at all. Since the first Academy Awards in 1929, this is the 83rd time Film Academy voters did not nominate a black actress for a lead performance. For black actors, it's the 74th lead performance snub. History repeating itself over and over and over and over and over and over again. Could this be systemic? Mm, Maybe. And it wasn't just black actors who were snubbed. Others questioned the snub of the Woman King director Gina Prince by the Wood and the film Nope, which saw critically acclaimed performances from Daniel Kulaye and Kiki Palmer and lauded directing and screenwriting from Jordan Peele. There is also the surprise nomination of Andrea Rise Burrow and the lobbying effort by a slate of actresses. Let's put up this headline and then David, I wanna bring you in. Why stars like Jennifer Aniston, Sarah Paul's son and Char- Char- Charlize Theron are backing Andrea Roseburg in to Leslie. And if only they had lobbied that hard for Danielle Deadweiler or Viola Davis, as Philadelphia Magazine editor Ernest Owens points out on Twitter. Let's put up his tweet. So let me get this right. Academy members lobbied hard to get a white actress nominated for a role in a film nobody has seen at the expense of two black actresses who've been critically acclaimed this entire season. White privilege at its finest. Yeah, this isn't right. Hashtag Oscars. Oh, I sigh deeply, David, on this. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, the the Riseboro thing is is wild. They, uh, uh, you know, she was, I guess, friends with uh, and and colleagues with uh, a number of, of white actors and actresses, and they they started this campaign, which now they're saying may have been uh, not in in line with the rules of the Academy uh, around lobbying uh, to get her the, uh, the 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 actress role. I will add that. Um, you know, a number of uh, Asian American actresses, uh, actors and actresses did get uh, honored this year. Everything, everywhere, all at once, which is maybe the odds on favor to win Best Picture, um, uh, was was honored with, I believe, three uh, acting nominations and as well as uh, Hong Chao, who was in The Whale. Um, so, you know, I, I, the the Academy, the, the, the voters who actually pick the Oscars has gotten much more diverse in, in the, from base relative to the previous years. And that has helped to a certain degree, but uh, it's a, obviously a long road. Yeah, very long road. I'm, I'm happy for those other actors and actresses cannot though sub in for not uh, nominating black actors and actresses nor directors. And they also chose Avatar Way of the Water for Best Picture, despite the fact that the film has a white saber complex with a a whitewashed cast. Uh, Let's put that up. I gotta confess to y'all, I just went to go see the dead gone thing in 3D, I tell you. (laughs) I did. You're part of the problem, man. I am part of the problem, (laughs) yes I am. I didn't go on opening weekend. I mean, the movie has been out there for a long time, but uh, uh, yeah, I did, I must confess that. So let's put up this tweet. We live in a world and work in industries that are so aggressively committed to upholding whiteness and per- perpetuating an unbiased misogyny toward black women. You better go ahead and, and say that 
She put it on out there and yet I am forever in gratitude for the greatest lesson of my life. Regardless of any challenge or obstacles, I will always have the power to cultivate my own joy. And it is this joy that will continue to be one of my greatest forms of resistance. So, I mean, there we have it. I mean, the, the Oscars have a very long way to go. I just think that old habits die hard and that they're not really willing and able, uh, David, in many ways to do away with their old habits. I mean, they just keep repeating these same things over and over and over and over again. I mean, I remember when Denzel Washington won an academy, now as accomplished as he is, they gave him one for training day. Now, not that Training Day, Training Day was a good movie, but he was betraying a stereotypical role. They didn't give it to him for Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. was Malcolm X. I mean, he challenged Minister Malcolm X. And it did the same thing for Sister Halle Berry for Monsters Ball. Love me some Halle Berry, but Monster Ball was ridiculous. <laughs> David, you got 30 seconds, baby. Weigh in if you like. <laughs> well, it's it's not like we should expect the Academy Awards to really reflect uh, uh, the, the, the best in film. Uh, the, for, for years and years, we've seen that uh, not be the case. Uh, I think uh, the best way to uh, show that uh, representation matters and that you appreciate and respect the stories told by uh, uh, you know uh, uh, people of color is, is to go see them. Yeah, definitely go the go the weekend that the movies are out. You have got to do that. My God, uh, uh, the the Woman King. I mean, I was there. I mean, the day of the day, the day I was there because I wanted to give that nod to the one and only Viola Davis. And can I give another confession? I mean, I watched that movie, or at least try to look at portions of that movie <laughs> almost four or five times a week. I'm so in love with that movie, what Viola <laughs> Davis was able to do and what her supporting cast and also our amazing director, Gina, she did that thing.